Mom said it's my turn in the studio. It's live, motherfucker. Here first, folks. <laughs> you heard it here first. <clears throat> <laughs> What's going on, guys? <laughs> Welcome to the StoryWorks podcast. I am your host, Zach Gosen. I'm your co-host, Andrew Hall. What are we talking about today, man? Um. Well, you know, we're taking a step away from from movies for for this week. We're distancing ourselves. We're hopefully. getting some real fucking nerdy gamer shit. Gamers in the chat. Where are they at? Hit us up. Let us know what you're playing. Because we're about to let you know what we've been playing. Yeah, there's just a lot of stuff going on in video games recently, man. Yeah, a lot man. of good stuff happening. Oh, yeah. So kind of just wanted to give our uh, Feel like a, audience oh, an update. Yeah, yeah what, sure. what we have been enjoying and looking forward to some new stuff coming out. Uh, like just as of today when we're recording the Sprott podcast, Friday... Jedi Survivor is out. Yes. It has dropped. Yes. It's a very large file size. Like 148 <laughs> gigabytes. But it's really fucking good, man. And it's really worth it. Just, just clear up some space. Yeah. No, you gotta you gotta leave some space in there. You gotta be committed. I the last time I had a file size like that was like the last one that I can like remember in any meaningful capacity was like Red Dead Two. Yeah, dude. That was like a one hundred and like ten gig file or something like that. Yeah, but that game, you know, that game is just fucking huge, dude. The map is ginormous. Yeah, it is. Super fun to explore. I we we played a, a decent amount of Red Dead online together. Yeah. I never beat the story, man. I really need to go back because I know it's like. Just fantastic. That shit broke me emotionally. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't make it too far. You know, there's just so much to do in that game. It is a lot. I got very easily overwhelmed and did everything besides like, yeah. the main story. It's a very big map. And then once you beat it, you get the entire, like, American side of the Red Dead 1 map, which That's is so cool. just insane. Yeah. That's how uh, Rockstar really ups their game, man. You know, just like with adding cities into GTA from past games. Yeah. It is unfortunate to me that Rockstar did not support Red Dead as much as they did uh, GTA. Online? Yeah. It, I feel like it could have had a lot of potential. Dude, I really enjoyed playing through Red Dead Online, but as it as you go on and you start unlocking the different jobs you can do, you realize that... There's just not too much else. To yeah. Do. Yeah. Oh, you're a trader. Cool. You can tr- take your stuff across the country on a road trip. And then you, uh, another player can get you like five minutes out from your destination and blow your shit up. Yeah. And in fact, they wait there to do so. <laughs> oh, dude, it's <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. And then, and then, like GTA Five Online is just constantly, constantly. Updates, they just had a updates. new, they just had a new update like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. I wonder why they didn't go so heavily with Red Dead Two. Did they just? Not I think have they just faith in it. I think they just saw how much money they were making from Red Dead Online. People buying like the Shark Pack, or like the Shark Cards or whatever, which is like in-game currency. Like it's just like you know, yeah. pay ten dollars, get like a million bucks or something like that. Right. Right. Um, so I think it was just, they saw how much money that was making and they were like, that's our cash cow. We have to keep making stuff for this. Gotcha. Yeah. And then Red Dead 2 just kind of fell to the wayside. Right. Right. I don't think it's had like a content content update in like over a year and a half. Jesus. Yeah. Yep. I remember, remember there was a phase when a bunch of community members changed all of their characters outfits to clown outfits and they were wearing face like clown face paint yeah 
uh, because they were so foolish to believe that there would be more content for the game. Oh, no. <laughs> Such a sad little tribute. <laughs> yeah. Shit, that sucks. Red, Red Dead 2 is a fantastic game, though. It man. is. It's really good. Would love to see some more work on that in, in the online way. You know, we would just join a posse and fuck around and then unjoin the posse and kill And then each I was going to say, end the posse at the end of the night and immediately get into knife fights. I literally just remember you having, like, some Halloween content. You had... A oh yeah, the mask. mask. On, dude. Yeah, and you would just chase me with like a the bloody clothes. Yeah, just fucking chase me around, man. Yeah, man, it was good. We would get to the lasso fights. Oh my god, getting to the highest point in the or like the that big <laughs> huge waterfall and yeah. then jumping off it as one of us lassos the other. You guess why not? <laughs> That's what real cowboys did, anyways. Oh yeah, for right? sure. Yeah, it's like. Jackass in eighteen hundreds, dude. This is jumping off of a waterfall while being lassoed by my friend. Chris Pontius is like, <laughs> Wee Man does a dance. Yeah. Literally, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's just baseline jackass content. That's a, that's true. just what you need to officially qualify as to like jackass cross the content. bar. Yeah. yeah. Or you just have Steve-O's hoarse voice laughing somewhere. <laughs> I'm like, oh, dude. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put right. hot sauce on my balls. Ha ha. <laughs> like, cool. <laughs> Very cool, dude. Thank you, Steve-O. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> All right, man. So I, I want to I do like a little bit of um, just opening thoughts on Jedi Survivor. I literally have played about 20 minutes of gameplay. I know. Um, I've played like an hour and a half or so, yeah, two hours. My boy did the big stay up. He he, he stayed up for the up. release. I was up. I um, like impulse bought it at like 1130. Half because an hour that's what we do. Out. That's what you Started do. <laughs> downloading it. It still took like an hour to download because it's just so massive. It's fucking huge. So while it was downloading, I beat Fallen Order. Oh, really? So that's cool. Like, yeah, just yeah. in time. Yeah, so like... You got to finish your run. So spoilers for Fallen Order. Spoilers. But uh, I got back, to, like I loaded the game up, because it was basically like I decided, oh, I'm going to buy it. Yeah, for sure. Bought the game, started downloading it, and it was like half an hour till midnight, and I knew that it was like 148 gigs, so I knew yeah. it was going to be a lot. So I was just like, oh, I'll just boot up Fallen Order and beat it. I'm right at the Terran Malakos fight. Oh, so you you had a little bit of a chunk to do. I beat it. Pretty damn quick. I beat Terran Malakos on my second try. A... And I beat the ninth. Calcus. And I beat the second sister on my third try. Good shit, man. Good shit. Calcestis. Calcestis. Um Yeah. The Terran Malikos fight is good, man. I love his whole character was nuts, dude. Come with me. We can learn. The Jedi are dead. They're gone. He's just on his own like psychotic power trip. He's just from where he crash landed in the Clone Wars. When you crash land and then become a warlord of the planet that you're on. Oh God. Calcestus. Calcestus. <laughs> And That's then a that, cool ass fight. Do though. you remember how he dies? Does he get crushed by a big rock? It's not crushed by a big rock. He gets like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Diamond is Unbreakable, like Yo Angelode. What? Like he gets the, Yo Angelode. Like the Marin, the Night Sister. Yeah. Uh does some dark side ritual or whatever. Yeah, one of those. Yeah. And uh he gets like locked in like think like Avatar the Last Airbender, how Aang locks down Ozai. Okay, yeah, gotcha. So he's locked down like that, but then she's like this you are right, Malakos, this grave or this planet will be your grave. And then he literally just is sucked into the rock. Oh my god, dude. And he's like screaming the entire time, and then his, his head goes under the rocks, and then he's just dead. Holy shit. 
that's that's like a hard ass way to go out, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, holy! I, I forgot about that part. Oh my god! It's a, and then it's like uh, it's like history of the world with the oi oi except it's yes, Calcasus. <laughs> His lightsaber comes up and it's just Calcasus. <laughs> Oh man, that that was a cool fight because it was just like it wasn't as simple as Jedi versus Inquisitor or Sith. It was this is, this is like a fucking an psychopath, insane <laughs> fallen Jedi. Yeah, yeah, really cool. I I really liked him for the lore and the story. Oh yeah, he was really cool. Um, the way that he like manipulated Marin. Yeah, and the rest of the uh, Knight Brothers into serving him. Yeah. Was very cool. That's a hard area too. I like that area. Dathomir is super cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and then after that, you know, you go to the Inquisitorious base. Yep. That underwater so it's, segment. It's, it's go time at that point. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, no, no. So you go to Dathomir and you 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 take down uh, Terran Malakos and yeah. you, and you get the the key or whatever mm-hmm. that you need. And then you go into the, you go back to Bogano to get yeah. the holocron, and you right. have that vision where Cal like sees the future and like what would happen if he recreated the Jedi Order. Uh, spoiler Inquisitor alert! Cal. Spoiler alert! It's not good. Oh God, I love that scene. It, it when the door closes both doors close on you and you're in the pitch black darkness and it's just like press l1 to ignite your lightsaber yeah oh god red so fucking crazy man i loved it and then is that when you break your lightsaber no you you break your lightsaber um before that trying to think of what exactly breaks it Oh yeah, it's, you go because it, it's the you go to Dathomir and you like meditate and then you you get the whole scene with your master. You get the Order sixty six scene, right? Okay, and then you fight your master and he grabs the lightsaber, and breaks it, and then you realize that it was just Cal clutching the lightsaber hard as fuck. Yeah. Yep. And that scene, that's fucking crazy because you got to sprint. Out of death, Amir was yeah, no weapon. dude, no weapon. You got all the fucking like uh, mummified like night sisters chasing you. Yeah, dude, that shit had me fucked up. But yeah, so after so you go to Bogano and then you get that vision and then you fight the second sister. She shows up. Yeah. Yep. And she's like, "Oh, can you believe it, Cal?" All because you showed up here. Now I'm going to go kill every single child on that list. Thanks, buddy. You did a real good thing for the Empire. Oh, God. And then, yeah, she just, she, he takes her lightsaber from her. Yeah. And as soon as he touches it, he's like overwhelmed by the darkness inside of it. Yeah. And that's, well, he sees like everything that happens. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's, that's like a special thing of his, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's like psycho, psychometry or whatever. Mm-hmm. He can like see the memories associated with objects. Yeah. So, yeah, he sees uh, Trilla's backstory and how she was tortured by the Empire. Right. Um, she takes the holocron and leaves. And then. Cal and the gang are like, we're going to the Inquisitorial base. Yep. We're going to get the holocron back, and we're going to get out. And you jump out. You you dive. I think it's a really cool scene of yeah. him getting shot out of, like, the escape pod. Yeah, I like that. Because it's, like, well, it's the second time that he's been in an escape pod, and the first time was with his dead master, and he was, like, traumatized by it. Yeah, dude. They show him. this. It's the scene when he's, like, coming in. He's got his eyes closed, and he's just, like, doing controlled breaths, like, calming himself down. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, you get the second sister fight. Pretty dope fight. Difficult, man. Difficult fight. I remember mm. the first time I tried beating her, I was stuck on her for a while. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, 
I, aggressive. Very aggressive. But if you are just as aggressive, you can Drilling. get her down pretty quick. I because yeah. I managed to put her down relatively easily. I died twice, but yeah. And then pretty man, much you had to get your footing. Yeah. After after you beat her, dude. <laughs> that seems fucking crazy, dude. You have failed me, Inquisitor. Strike, strike her down. She will not become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. It's rough, man. I mean, they very much make her. She's a, a victim. She's like the big bad throughout, but she's also just a, a victim of, you know, the victim, empire. Vicious, vicious cycle, man. Yep. Absolutely. Fuck the Empire. Fucking for real. Yeah, that escape scene with Vader is insane. It's so tense. The, I did not think he was going to make an appearance. No, me either. The codex entry for him says, like, you cannot defeat him. Escape, like, running away is your only yeah. option. Don't, don't. Don't even swing on this guy. Like, he makes Cal stab himself. In one of the death animations? No. Just in canon. Like, he, like, Cal gets knocked back and he goes to grab his lightsaber, and then Vader is also pulling on the lightsaber. Yeah. And he's like, give up. And Cal's like, never. I'm never going to give up. And Vader ignites the lightsaber, flips it around, and. Stabs Cal. With I forgot it. about that, man. And that's when Trilla shows, or not Trilla, but Seer shows back up. Yeah, she throws the one lightsaber at Vader, and then like you starts to use the dark side, and he's like, "Yes, yes, good." Oh man, Vader's such a f- oh god. He's massive. He's huge. He's such a force to be reckoned with. They show like they show Seer try to fight him, and he is just the one hand just whap whap whap. Yeah, just going at it. Or like when he fir- when she first appears to fight him, like when he kills Trilla, she jumps at him, and he literally just like forces her off, and she falls down the fucking like reactor shaft. Yeah. <laughs> All the reactor shafts, man. But, Always. But then you get the scene where she like goes to charge at him with a saber ready and you just see the size difference. Yeah. <laughs> and you remember that Vader is like a fucking eight foot tall, like half cyborg, half man. You're like, oh yeah. It's this all coming together. Wild, now. Man. <laughs> shit's wild. And then just yeah, just watching him just Continuously, just the one hand power strikes. Mm -hmm. Yep. He's, yeah. You're just fucked. It, like, you're just fucked if you see Vader. That's just kind of like the thing you need to accept. Yeah. There's nothing you can really do. Uh, Like, the most you can do is, like, run, try to escape. Yeah. Mm hmm. Cal barely managed to escape. The only people who have really stood up to him, you know, and and faced off with him in a lightsaber battle from like the main canon excluding comic books and stuff is really i mean you got Luke Obi-Wan and Obi-Wan is like i really like what we get in the Obi-Wan series for his battles yeah, with yeah. Vader um Ahsoka she do be fighting him and is there anyone else that really stands a chance like in the main canon <laughs> Yeah. Not he just really. fucking tears through everybody, man. Yeah, yeah he just kind of crushes, absolutely demolishes anything the in his path. The only person that fucks with him is Palpatine. Like, that's, and it's bad. He gets it rough, too, man. Renfield voice. I am in a toxic relationship and I need to get out, but oh it's Darth my Vader. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> Nobody write this down. We're writing this. Down. We're writing this. Stop. It's a it's a comedy Stop. about it's a ultra hyper violent comedy <laughs> about Darth Vader trying to break up with Palpatine. <laughs> what if you just don't go back to the Death Star? Oh my God! What are you talking about? 
He won't grow to full power. <laughs> <laughs> Say it with me. <laughs> I'm going to grow to full power. And I will bring peace. <laughs> <laughs> Freedom and security to my new empire. Oh my god. Your new empire. <laughs> Oh. oh, I love Star Wars, man. Yeah, man. Fuck. But then, yeah, you you get the holocron back, and then you slice that bitch up because you decide nobody's going to claim these kids. And then by that point, the second game had finished installing, so I was like, it's go time, baby. And immediately booted up Survivor. The I really liked the cinematic like retelling of the first game. Yeah. Super fucking cool. It's super dope. I liked how uh, it was just structured really well. Like when they mention when Taron Malikos comes in and the yeah. and it just shows Cal like falling into darkness. Yes, yeah, dude, really cool. And then just opening up to this new Cal after that. Yeah, he's just like I can't even describe it, man. Like the the first few shots of him on that transport in, yeah. in his cuffs. Yep. That's where we first see Cal in the in the opening of this game. Yes. Oh, it just looks so good. He is no longer the boy he once was. No. He's a man. He's fully grown, man. He's got stubble. He's got that stub. He's got a he's got a little scruff going on here. Yeah, man. And his I can't his eyes. They're so they're vibrant. They're beautiful. It's really good. It's so good, dude. It, so the game just looks incredible right off fucking rip. Yeah. Love his design. Um, let me know a little bit of what you're noticing with this gameplay as opposed to Fallen Order, what you're liking. like. Um, so first thing I'm noticing is that there are different like special attacks. Because like, okay. the combat is, you know, square to attack, triangle for force attacks. Yeah, right. Um. In the first game, it was like an overhead slam you would do when you yeah. press triangle. Mm-hmm. Now it's like a, he does like a piercing strike in, in front. I unlocked that one, yeah. Uh, I, I like that one more, mm-hmm. I think. It gives you a nice like, range. Yeah. 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 Um, the different stances are sick. So cool. The way he, when, when he, because his lightsabers are just so cool. His lightsabers oh, yeah. are so cool. He, they he has the he has it hang from his belt, and whenever yeah. when he just pulls out the one lightsaber, he just detaches it from the one still attached to his belt. Oh, cool. Okay, it just hangs from his belt still, and then he's got like the main saber. Yeah, and then if he needs like if he switches to dual saber, he just grabs the second one and fights with it. It's a it, it's a shoto. It's okay. a smaller saber. That's cool. Let's um, go. And when you pull them both out at the same time, he just grabs the whole thing and then goes and ignites it. So fucking cool, man. It's cool. It's very cool. I was very excited to hear the integration of new stances and like yeah. giving them their own like move sets and custom custom. They have whole skill trees. Yeah. See, that's fucking. Fantastic. Each one has its own skill tree. I haven't used it yet but i know there's blaster combat and i'm so fucking psyched for that and the heavy stance the heavy stance just big damage but slower so like there's different you can you can yeah like the 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 play styles just the dual saber is like you get to do fast attacks with it yeah but as a trade-off you don't have a lot of stamina gotcha okay so you can't just hold block the whole time okay gotcha because you'll just take damage. You just won't be able to withstand it. Yeah. Um, but that's when you just hold triangle to auto parry. Mm-hmm. And you just levitate your lightsabers out in front of you. That's waiting for the attack to come in. And as soon as it comes in, you automatically just block, slice, 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 slice. That's so fucking cool, man. He's such like, a, would you consider him at a master's level of a Jedi? I don't know, man. Like I'm trying to think on a power scale. I mean, he definitely like at. he 
he feels to me, at least right now, kind of like how Anakin and Obi Wan felt during the uh, Clone Wars. Really? Okay, gotcha. Like you know that that amount of like flexible, like vert, like flexible verticality. Yeah, he can jump around and shit. Right. He's quick. Obi Wan was very much like that, and so was Anakin. Yeah, for sure. Anakin but, was a knight. Yeah. Obi Wan was a master at that point. I don't know. I dep- I guess it kind of he's like depends a Jedi on knight by the end he of gets, the first he, game. He gets knighted. Yes. Yeah. He gets knighted. Seer. It, but it's it's hilarious. Instead of knighting yeah. him with his own like Jedi lightsaber, she knights him with a fucking Inquisitor's blade. That was interesting. Yeah. Uh, don't yeah probably don't make a Jedi Knight with yeah. a red lightsaber. I don't know. I feel like that's like a. I feel like, like uh, you're just like jinxing it, right? Like <laughs> it's like this just this doesn't feel right. They better not make Cal like fall or anything like that. Mm-mm. So what do you think about it so far? Because I know you're only like twenty thirty minutes in, but yeah, you've you've still experienced a bit of gameplay mm-hmm. you've gotten to do some fighting you got to see like the senator yeah and and his big old like space yacht and his big old fucking head yeah hey <laughs> big head he looks like he's built like thanos but he's that race with the like w- like the white striped face mm-hmm. that the grand inquisitor is yes yeah he's a scary motherfucker dude yeah so i i loved it man like pulled me in like right off rip how does it feel to be back on Coruscant? That was crazy, yeah. Seeing, like, how he stands up and he looks at the... He looks at the temple. Yeah, <sighs> with the flags hanging down. Oh, uh, I thought it was... What a cool way to, like, jump back into this character yeah. by, you know, he's facing... He's always facing his past, so mm-hmm. we're pushing him right into that. But, you know, how you were talking about Cal portrays combat-wise and kind of, like, skill-wise... Anakin and Obi Wan. I think he looks like Episode Six Luke. The way because yeah. he, he's like so calm and like he yes. seems he's, more. He, he's confident. very much. He's very much like I've been doing this for a while. Yes, because like we're walking into some hard shit at the beginning of the game, and he is just so fucking cool, calm, and collected. Much like Luke Skywalker walking yeah. into Jabba Hutt's. He, he was very. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. You know I mean? Yeah, that's a really good observation, <laughs> dude. Yeah, I was like, he's like, uh, he's got that. He's there. He, I'm like, if he's not a master, he's like, he's like right. He's got to be cusping. Like, do you do you remember if they've said how long uh, after Fallen no. Order this game takes place? I was gonna ask you that because I was trying to gauge it. I'm gonna do a live Google real quick. A good few. It can't be more than like. Years. It can't be more than like four years. Yeah, for five sure. years tops. Nothing too crazy, um, but yeah, I I just love that this characterization of him. Now I don't have a full scope on how he is yet, just because how early on in the game I am. Yeah, but I love his headspace at the beginning. It is five years after Fall. Five, Order. gotcha. Okay, yeah, that sounds about right. So he's got. So he's like in his twenties now. Yeah. Yep. And he's just been kind of kicking ass ever the since. whole time, man. Ever since he ran away from Vader, he's yeah. just been helping any resistance pockets that he can. Yes, sir. We are like nine years before episode four. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Getting close. It ever approaches, man. <laughs> you think there's going to be a third one? Uh, who knows? They could, I, I, you, let me get. I want to meet Obi Wan. Let me get further in this game first, man. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> so, <coughs> I guess general spoilers for like the first hour of gameplay. Yeah. You're you're in cuffs. You're you're getting escorted through Coruscant, which is just nuts. Yeah, like the senator. seeing all the levels and like the ads on the screens uh-huh. and and the senator's voice coming through. Like on a big screens and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they're locking down streets. Of course, stormtroopers are being, you know, shady as ever, just kind of like shooting people when they don't move and start leaving. ASAP, ASAP, all stormtroopers <laughs> are bastards. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh my God. Um, and then we we get to the senator finally. You're escorted by this team of you don't really know who yet. There's like mercenaries. Just mercenaries that they've like captured you. you. Yeah. Um, and again, 
Cal is like basically facing death or being being brought to Palpatine, over to fa- Palpatine himself, yeah. Um, which That's might why be the worse. senator wants him. He's like, oh, this will get me good. This will yeah. get me in good with palps. Yep, with old palps. He's gonna. Lo- oh, he's gonna old love Palpy. This. He loves. He loves a good Jedi to kill. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, and then you know, Cal's like, eat a fucking dick. You really thought you could capture me? <laughs> yeah, he's you just idiot. like immediately you like idiot. You fucking moron. I know what you have on that yacht, and I'm going to get it. The and only way, like, to, the what? only way to get on your yacht was to bring you to me, and the only way to bring you to me was to bring me to you. Like actual nutty <laughs> moment. <laughs> like, oh, and he's like, "All right, let's." I'm Did, getting the, out of here. He just stands up and just goes, Kr. "Yeah." It's like fuck you, dude. <laughs> Straight up. Were you expecting? Like, did you? Like, yes. Know or look f- like, uh, uh, like expect that all of the mercs were like on you. Like it was like a a whole plan to begin with. Uh, I I suspected it. I suspected it, but you know, it wasn't one hundred percent until I saw, you know, him. See, I. Did you just know, like, straight up? Well, like, I, so in the opening cutscene, they show one of the mercs. It's the one that's holding the uh, briefcase with the lightsaber in it. Okay, yeah. He looks directly at Cal, like, in the opening cutscene. as yeah. Like, right before Cal looks out over the temple. And he just holds on him for a minute, and the camera holds on him for a minute. Yeah. And I was like, okay. At first, I was like, okay, so he's going to be the one guy that's on our team. Right. Um, so I kind of was expecting that, and I was expecting him to be the dude that they have shown in the trailers. I didn't expect that. I was like... Because they show him in a different like outfit. Yeah, but he kind of has the similar build. He's a big boy, yeah. He is a big guy mm-hmm. for you. Um. But yeah, so I I was kind of expecting that, but I wasn't sure about the rest of the squad. Okay. Uh, but did yeah. you learn about the rest of the squad yet? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, I I left off right when you you meet your companion and you figure out that they were in on it with you. I mean, when he said that he needed to get captured, I was also like, okay, there maybe somebody was there to help him. And then you know? well, and then on top of it, especially when it was like. As soon as the when the, when they go onto that elevator, yeah, and the dude's like, "That wasn't the deal. The deal is that I get to go with him." Yes, and they're like, "Fine, just you though." Yeah, I was like, "I feel like something's going like, on." Okay, yeah. here we go. Here right, we go. Right. <laughs> I like that. Like, so we're talking about how cool, calm, and collected uh, Cal is. I like that he's got that confidence, and then they enable the plan to you know stop the yacht. And it basically stops its functions, and he's like, Dude, "All right, we did it." He's they like, show BD going on and yeah, and the charges in the background. That made me so happy because Cal's just like, and then he's like, "Okay, I, I can was, start." Talking I was wondering now. when the game started. I was like, "Where's my man?" Yeah, yep. If BD uh-huh. dies, I riot. I riot. Yeah, <laughs> we don't accept it. No. Um. Yeah, and then so they disable the ship's functions, and then it it starts just starts kind of drifting. Floating. Yeah, and he's like, "It's coming in kind of hot." A little, a little too, too hot. hot. Oh shit! And I'm like, okay, now we're on our Calcast to shit. <laughs> yeah, the plan is not going to yeah. plan. Right. Um, super excited to keep exploring. Like, I love being on Coruscant right now. It is so fucking cool. Being, I am still just on the rooftops, but it's it's just cool. Yeah. I really like the area. The Getting design. to go through all the different levels and shit. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's so cool because I mean you're we're talking about Cal being so calm and cool and collected. Yeah, he is like the he's like the fire team leader. He's like the leader of this like squad of gotcha. People. And just seeing him in like a command role is really cool to Satisfying. see. Yeah. yeah, the one dude that helps you with the like the god of war style combat which yeah. is which is cool yeah hold like r1 and press square to make him throw like a shock grenade at people that's sick that's awesome that's really cool he's got a jetpack my fucking man i need to get one of those he got one of those and that dude got Damn. no not cal though still though he points it out he's like man that jetpack's super nice 
He's like, you can you can force jump, dude. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. You can um, hop all around this fucking place. But that dude, he's like talking to Beatty. He's like, you think I'm on the team yet, Beatty? Yeah. I think he like he's like bantering with Beatty about like trying to look good in front of Cal. He's trying he like <laughs> oh my they God. they show it a few times, but he'll be like ahead of you in certain areas and he'll be yeah. like, Hey, I was I tried moving this this thing out of the way for you, but I, I it's too strong for me. Damn. And then you'll get to the second one and he'll be there and he'll be like, I loosened this one for you. So he's a newer guy? Yeah. On the team. It's like his first job with the team. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Um combat variations. Um, um, I don't know how they did it because like you, the lightsaber felt so powerful in the first game, but it feels even fucking crazier in this yeah, one. The, Again, we're playing on PS5, so we've got like the we've got that haptic feedback that's pretty intense in the controller. I remember that one. Um, I love it, dude. I fucking love it. I love the haptic feedback. Pressing R two to like throw people. Yeah, just... it, the sounds that come out of the controller are super immersive too. They sound really yeah. good. I like it. It's great. Um, man, he's just so fucking cool. Like, I did the sprint attack with the double saber, and he does this whole goddamn, he's like, gets on the floor, and he's like. Whoosh. There's one where. Uh, fucking kicking ass if you, all over the place. If you do, like, the triangle while you're holding the dual-bladed lightsaber. Yeah. He does, he does a, like, a hula hoop. Yeah. Like, like, he, like, and when I say a hula hoop, I mean the lightsaber levitates in front of him. And spins around him. I did that like accidentally. I was just kind of fucking around, and I was like, "Dude, I was like, what the? Fuck? This feels op." Like <laughs> one of the abilities Should you I get for the lightsaber right is like you delay your pressing of square. Yeah, and it like he just gets like he does like a bunch of like real like close combat. It's like, okay, cuts. yeah. So he it's like you delay. He changes the stance, and then go and then at he just it. and then it's like a single target like. Slice, 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 That's slice, sim- slice, slice, And it's similar to God of War in that way, too. Mm-hmm. How you utilize the, you know, delayed hitting. The first game had, had different stances as well, too. In that regard, it did, yeah. Yep. But yeah, it's it's How a blast, you, man. Yeah, I didn't get to play with, with the companion combat. Do you like it? Is it pretty helpful? Yeah. The oh, AI works helpful. pretty good? Yeah, it's helpful. Um, He just flies around shooting people. It's just fun to have someone else to banter with or as well. Or he'll, or like if you're next to somebody and you go to like, and you break their guard and you get like the the special kill animation. Yeah. You'll get one where like you'll flip over the dude and cut him. And then after you flip over him, your companion will like fly into him and punch him. Let's and go. Like knock his ass out. Okay. It's like yeah. A, like a combo hit. Yeah, dude. That shit's cool. I'm super excited. I'm super excited to check it out, man. It's very cool. I got to see the Mantis again as well. Yes. She's looking a bit rough. Oof. Oof. Where's where's my man Grease? That's where I'm I'm looking for him right now. You're looking for the legend himself. I'm looking for him. I can you imagine what kind of ship customization they're, they're going to have with like the Yeah, we haven't even mentioned. I want to tell him about the customization, man, cuz I felt like honestly it was lacking in the first game. Yeah, I mean <clears throat> in the first game, I you just like have ponchos, ponchos. And that was so much of the outfit. So you don't like the ponchos? Sometimes. It depends. See, I A didn't, lot of them I didn't. I didn't like the ponchos that looked... Uh, like a raincoat, almost. Yeah. I the like ones the that were like made coat. out of materials and stuff. Yeah. I didn't like those. I liked the more fabric-looking ones. Yeah. The one that I wore for the majority of the game was like red with like a yellow... like line through it yeah looks pretty right. good um but no nah, man it was like ponchos you have like four different colors for your outfit yeah for like your base outfit and then you have the mantis colors and then you have beady's colors this is like you have cal's jacket which you can, there's several different jackets you can choose. And then from inside there, you can set the color of the jacket to any number of preset colors. Then you have the shirt, same thing. Yeah. Pants, same thing. You have hair. You can customize his hair and, that his, feels so and good. his beard. Yeah, dude. Um, The lightsaber customization is sick. You have all the crystals. 
Yeah. Um, you have. Do you feel like you wanted to work for more of the crystals? Maybe, but I mean, it for also your, yeah. makes sense that I mean, at the end of the first game, you have all of the crystals. Right. Right. They're they're not trying to make you backtrack. Yeah. In progress. I mean, because he has all of his abilities from the first game, which is great. Um. The the lightsaber customization though you have, you can you can separate it from like main lightsaber emitter main lightsaber shaft main lightsaber hilt change the materials of each of those and then change the color of those materials oh sick and then man. same thing for the other bladed lightsaber as well and then it'll sh- like you can preview and it'll show you what they look like connected and what they look like separated i love it dude and then bd you can change his color but you can also change like what his visor looks like or like what his okay. headpiece looks like, what his legs look like. That's wild, dude. His his chassis, his whole like centerpiece. You can change all of it. You can, I I found one that's like the assembly version and it's uh-huh. just all of the wires exposed for BD. It's oh, like God, it's like yeah. episode 1 3PO. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Holy shit. It's insane, man. That's it's super a lot cool, of customization. Man. That's that's really nice to hear um, because I wanted that in the first one and I didn't quite get it. Yeah. That might have been probably the only let one of the only letdowns for me in the first game mm-hmm. was the customization. Yeah. Um so super excited to get into that with this one. Dude, as well. it's so good. Very excited for the story. I feel like so much has been they they haven't given you much, which is great, you know? Yeah. You're um, just I have a little bit more than you. Yeah. Um, and I still don't have a lot. Like, I, the crew is separated, and we okay, don't know yeah. why. And we don't know why. You still don't know yet? No. Grease is, like, on a planet hiding. He, like, owns a bar or something like that. Oh, He's, shit. like, out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. No idea what's going on with Marin or Seer, though. Yeah. And we got to get the game. It's so back nice because Cal has a moment on the ship where he feels alone and just kind of like sad. Yeah. And BD pulls up a hollow, like he pulls it up on like the globe screen. Yeah. And it's a series of holocrons or like messages, recordings that BD has made of him, like recording past events of, of like Cal, Seer, Grease, oh. Marin. Like you get to see uh, Grease cooks them dinner, yeah, and they're eating like this. F- He's like, "Oh, it's my family recipe." What do you guys think? And nobody says anything. And he's like, "Marin, what do you think?" Oh God. And she's, she's like, "It's it's good. Could use a bit more salt." <laughs> and he's just like, "Salt's bad for it. too much salt's bad for you." And then Cal's like, "It's delicious, Grease." <laughs> Or no, Seer says it's delicious, and then Cal's like, "I'd pay for this, Grease." Oh my god! And he and Grease is eating it up. He's like, "Oh, you hear that? I might just start charging you for it then, Cal." Oh my god! And then he walks away, and then Cal like looks at Marin and is like, "Give me your bowl." And he like <laughs> she like gives him his bowl, and he like eats it, so it looks like she ate it. Oh my god! He's like, "I got you." Just a few happy memories like that. Yeah, kind of like gives. Cal, like the resolve, it's kind of like his family, needs. man. Yeah. yeah, he never really had a family, mm-hmm. and everything that he got that resembled it just continuously was ripped. Dude, it's away. so nice when he when he wakes up. I mean, he has that conversation with Marin because yeah. she's like, "I'm the last of my kind. All right. of my sisters died because of Jedi," and uh, he's like, "I'm the last of my kind. We're both we're both the last of each other. Like, I yeah. I could be the last Jedi." Right. And they bond over that. And she, she literally says to him, uh, a Jedi and a Night Sister don't like don't make travel companions. Yeah. But survivors, we make do. I, lo- I love that. I yeah. was like, oh when at the end of Fallen Order when you're like you save Seer and you're you're swimming out of the Inquisitorious base. Yeah. And you pass out, and the last thing you see is Marin 
swimming towards you using like her magic. Yeah. And then you wake up on the ship and Grease is like, easy kid, easy, easy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it just builds that sense of family. And then you see Marin, and the first thing she does is fucking run up and hug you. Yes. And she's like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. So yeah, I'm exciting to see what happened to everybody in this one. Dude, you know? I'm, I'm looking forward so to close. it. I'm really looking forward to it. Can we, uh, can we mend these things? I'm very excited to see where the story goes, yeah, and I'm man. sure we will talk about it once we've beaten it. Oh, yeah. This is definitely going to be like my next main game that I play for a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I just beat Resident Evil 4 last night. You so, beat it? Yes. Hey. So we're moving on to this as the main. Um, we're definitely going to be talking about Resident Evil 4. Um, I don't think we have time today, but maybe next week we'll get into Resident Evil 4 uh, we played some Diablo 4, the Diablo, open beta. We've been playing yeah. a lot of Diablo. Um, but as for this week's episode, I think we have time for one more game yeah. to discuss. Just a small one that we play. Um, before we move on, though, any closing thoughts on your on your first experience? Anything you want to I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm just, like, you know, hype-pilled. I'm right very hype-pilled, dude. <laughs> And I, I, I just am I'm loving the game so far. I'm, I think I'm really enjoying it. Generally, even within the first 30 minutes to an hour of gameplay, you can tell that they've taken everything from the first one and done nothing but improve. Yeah, you know what I, I mean, mean? He automatically climbs fast. Now. Oh my god. And it feels I was because I was I was wondering like the yeah. different shifts in the controls. They make it to where you no longer have to like press L two to to a wall yes if you can grab it you just grab it and they added you can cling from the ceiling now yes and like splinter cell your way across <laughs> yeah splinter cell it yeah <laughs> the quality of life improvements of it are like really really good absolutely i think it's um like it, the jumping it like gets improves little, yeah every aspect of the base game of the original game in some way or another and then Adds more and expands. And yeah. that's all you can fucking ask for in a sequel, right? I mean, it's true. They're nailing it. So that's what mean, that's what makes a good sequel. Definitely uh, excited to keep going, and we will update you guys Absolutely. as we go. Um, for now, just to kind of end on. What's this other game? Let's talk about a fun little indie game by the developer Supergiant. Hey. Hades. Love, love a good roguelike. Dude, man. So, yeah, I've been watching Andrew play Hades for a while. And, uh, you know, our friend Dan, I think, picked it up first, did he? Dan, uh, yeah, he played Hades before I did. Yeah, our boy. And then he kind of, it, it just spread. It spread through us. Me and my yeah. wife are playing it now. Um, what a fucking fun and addictive roguelike oh, game. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Absolutely, um, dude. So cool. It's just, uh, I, I think it's really fun i love the art style it Absolutely has a very very good art style yeah it's like it's like cell shaded is that correct to say almost i think uh yeah i think maybe a little bit it's like two and a half d it's kind of yeah you know? it's like it's it's very unique it, it's, it's a very, very unique it's style. very good and and i love the character designs so i mean as i'm just Rambling on, let's let's talk about what the game is. Yeah. <laughs> so a general overview. You want to give like a little general kind of yeah. So it's so Hades is a uh, roguelike, like action adventure roguelike. What that means is it uh, the game is procedurally generated. Each each time you go through, it's going to be completely different. Room the rooms you'll never have the same room twice in, yep. in a run. You'll never have the same run twice each time you go you'll get different upgrades yeah um each run n never longer than i think my longest rut victory that i have is like 35 minutes yeah same here yeah. so never that's more than like your first one yeah, yeah. i say never more than like 40 really right um it's pretty quick paced you're you're you play as zagreus the son of I Hades. That. I love that name. It's a it's a powerful name. It is. He goes by Zag. Zag, the fucking man. Or Prince Zed. Yeah. If your if your name is Sisyphus. Yeah. Um. 
and he is he's trying to break out of hell. He's trying to break out of Hades. He's looking for his mom. Yep. And his, his Hades, his father is is attempting to stop him at every turn. Yeah, every with it's like his main job at it's, that point. Yeah, in the game. like H- Hades is like ruler of the underworld, but he's having to like stop his son from trying to break out. He's using all these different methods. He has yeah. the Furies. Yep, he's got. If you love Greek mythology, yeah, guys, this is like, this. You have it's to play huge this on game. Greek mythology, and I love and I love Greek mythology. Oh yeah. For sure. Um, We're God of War boys. Yes. You get to see, like, he he makes contact with the gods of Olympus who grant him boons, which yep. are basically, like, upgrades. Um, and that's that's what you get that's different every time. Yeah, like, that stuff will change every run. Gods One time you. you'll get, like, Zeus, he'll show up and be like, oh, hello, nephew. I see you're trying to break out of the darkness that your father has left you in. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. <laughs> and then Poseidon, and then you'll get another run and Poseidon will be like, Hold oh there, little nephew. Ahoy. It is me, your favorite uncle. <laughs> oh my god. Or you'll dude. get like Aphrodite who is just naked. Hello, dearest. And yeah, she's just, oh, hello, little godling. <laughs> And dude, but so these art designs are incredible. It's incredible beautiful, beautiful art. Two D um, drawings of each god. So when they talk, you know the text comes up. You get to see them. Oh, I mean, man. you'll get I like their Dionysus like lounging with all the grapes and he's and the wine man. His long him. purple hair, dude. Yo, Zag, how's it going, man? Yeah, he's my fucking guy. Thanks for dude. the nectar. I'm going to a party later, and I wasn't sure I'd have enough. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, just so cool. They they each have their own personalities. Their designs are fantastic. Ares is one of my favorite designs. And each He's got a cool Each design. god has different abilities that they'll give you. Yeah. Zeus is all about lightning, so lightning, chain, chain lightning. attacks. Uh Dionysus like makes your enemies like hung over so they take damage over time. That is my main strat. Ares, like dooms your enemies to take massive amounts of damage. Yeah. Yep. It's it's sick. Poseidon uses the waves to knock enemies back. Um what is her name? Demeter? Is that or the 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 Demeter is uh Lady Demeter is the frost. Yes, so there's chill, <laughs> slow your enemies. Oh my god, have you ever used her cast? The laser? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that cast stacked with like four casts. Yeah. You just lay it on a boss. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. Incredible boss fights. And in you this can game. get you can get like duo boon. You can get like combo upgrades as well where yeah. you'll, you know, if you if you've gone down the run and you are, you know, getting mostly Zeus boons and mostly Ares boons, you might get a a, a boon that like applies doom on your chain lightning attacks or something yes. like that. And that, oh, you love to see it, man. Just the synergy. Insa- insane synergy combos. It's sick. It's so fun to see what you can build up each time and and utilize, like, how can I get out using what methods? You There's know what different I mean? weapons to choose from. Yes. You've got, and, and you've got swords, shield, bow, spear, uh, Fists, gauntlets, put them up. Your dukes, and then you have a uh, just like gun. You have a yeah. gun. Yeah, dude. It, and then in inside of that, each of those weapons has like four different like special abilities that you can give them, like yep. traits. And they have different appearances. They all look sick. So there's just it. it there's so many ways. To to mix things up, yeah, like you're do, yeah, it's the same end goal, right? Every you're time trying you're trying out, to break out, but there's so many different ways to go about it that, like, even when you do it, you're like, I'm ready to fucking go again, just right back in, yeah. How can I beat my time? And then you can just make the game harder, yeah. Like, it's once just you beat insane. it, once you beat it, you have the option to start adding additional challenges to the run to make it harder for you, giving yourself a timer to where you only have nine minutes to complete a level, like a floor. Um, making it to where 
bosses are harder and more they have unique variants where you're fighting all of the furies at once or Instead you're fighting just one yeah you're fighting the the bone hydra in a in i like a series of islands of in a in a sea of lava as opposed to just one big like playing field. yeah um, they mix it up just when you're like, I got these bosses down. They're like, do yeah. you though? And then they're like, oh yeah, you want to fight Theseus? Cool, we gave him a minigun. That's fucked up. <laughs> I still struggle with that fight sometimes. He's on a chariot. Oh, a, what a golden dick. chariot, and it's got minigun, two miniguns on it. Oh my God. And he just rides that shit around shooting it. Fuck that, man. And it's you still dumb. have Asterius there And then too? Asterius is there. He's decked out in like big gold armor. Damn, dude. It's going to be a second before I use that pack to yeah, punish man. Um, and the story is really good. The story man. is super good. So the you, the you character these, designs are yeah. so good. You do these runs, and then you get back to the House of Hades when and you, you get die. to talk to everybody that's there. Yeah, you get updated dialogue. You're just slowly learning about you know the lore, what happened. Mommy Nix. Mommy Nix is the best. Mother Dusa. Knight. Dusa. Lots of fun NPCs. Like, Take like the like Medusa, the queen of the yeah. Gorgons, and yep. and having her be a floating head that is like afraid of everything. <laughs> I love that dude. And she just and she cleans super timid. She cleans. Yeah, yeah. She's just the, the timid housekeeper of the House of Hades. It's so wild, so wild. Cerberus, you can pet Cerberus. There's a dedicated pet Cerberus He's your button. Boy, dude, yeah. He's your boy. We love Cerberus. The relationship between Zagreus and Hades is really interesting. Learning, I think, learning more about Hades is really interesting. Yeah, because he's very stern. He's um, he's very closed up. He won't talk about closed anything. up. Super like, like negative. Does not talk about his wife at all. Ref- like bans mention of her name. Yeah, Zagreus has to find out what her name is. Uh, on his own. Hmm. He confronts his dad, and his dad still won't tell him anything. Yeah, it's only when you get to, when you escape, when you when you exit the underworld, and you and you meet your father. On Greece, in you step out. Plains. You step out of the temple, and you're in the entrance of Greece, and your dad is just waiting there. It's only in those moments. Yeah, when when the the mask will drop just a bit. And he'll let something out. I love, I love hearing what he has to say in those moments, because uh, he does just like trickle what you in. What do you think you're bit. doing, boy? Yeah, your ramp, your rumbling around will cause ruin to us all. Yeah, dude. Uh, and then when he's up there, he talks about the Titans briefly, and he's like, he, "Well, because he think I'm bad." Like, yeah, he's like, "I, dude, you're, you're, you, you are attempting to kill me. Guess what? Yeah. I tried to kill my dad too." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guess what? <laughs> it's the cycle, baby. But it's like, yeah. So I, I'm not gonna spoil like a bunch of stuff. But like, as you continue to play and you're just learning more about people, you you gift things to characters and yeah. you build relationships with them. It's just a really fun roguelike, man. And I can't yeah. recognize. I can't recommend it enough. I I would give it a fucking. Ten out of ten. I it's it's sure. really good, and there's a sequel coming. Oh yeah, dude. Hades two. I have no clue how they're gonna go about that, but I'm super excited. Dude, I'm I'm beyond hyped for it. Do you do you know anything about like release dates or anything? No, they haven't said any release dates. They just announced that it's coming. Oh, it's gonna. Up. I think it's gonna be like an early access game. Okay, gotcha. Um, whether or not that means it'll like come out in early access on consoles, I'm not sure. Yeah, but I know like. It'll come out on Steam and early access, so you'll be able to. Because that's what they did okay. with the game originally. That's what I thought. I, it came I didn't out think it was and available. it was like, uh, like you could buy it in early access and play all the the updating versions as as new content would come out and okay. things would get play to like pe- you know the developers would take feedback back from the fans. Gotcha. And tweak how items would work, or you know. Infernal troves give not enough gold, so we've started giving them more gold okay. or something like that. Sometimes they'll even like update character designs. That's interesting. It's pretty okay. cool. Like I, I remember seeing footage of the original, like the original early access 
for Hades. Yeah. And like Orpheus and um Achilles. Like yeah. anybody who was like a shade, basically. Yeah. Was way more shade like in appearance. Like they're like okay. their mod like not their not their like dialogue model. Okay. But like their character when you see them. in-game character model would be gotcha. way more like green specter-ish. Okay. Do you like that they added more yeah. life to them? Me too. I, I think they made the right decision there for sure. It's it's just a really good game. Super the exciting. voice acting is is phenomenal. The music is yes. superb. The guy who the composer for the game, yeah, is the voice of Zagreus. Are you for real? That's fucking sick. The music is like one of the and he's the singing voice for Orpheus. Are you what? This is nuts. Mm-hmm. Nuts. <laughs> There's a video on YouTube of him showing you how I to love play his, his voice too, man. He, the song that plays uh, when you visit Eurydice, yeah, the one that she's singing. Yeah, he uploaded a video to YouTube on like the super giant games of how to play that song on guitar. That's <laughs> fucking sick, dude. It's very cool. Oh my gosh. But yes. yeah, very fun roguelike. Very very good. I it's one of the few because I I I love me a good roguelike. Andrew do be fucking with um, roguelikes. There are like two that I can like just come back to and play over and over and over and over again. Yeah. Binding of Isaac. Yes. Which we're not going to discuss. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to know about Binding of Isaac, you can look it up. Just look it up. Um, and oh, Hades. God. Those are like the two that I can just jump back in and play whenever I want. We both went to through a decent gungeon phase as I well. I did like gungeon, but after you beat it it's after just like, I beat it once, I was like, this shit is so hard and you're telling me I have to beat it four more times. I can't even imagine. I, I didn't beat it. It like was you have like to beat so it, hard. Like you have to beat it as each character yeah. and you have to like build the bullet that can kill the past so that once you beat the dragon the dragon. Its head is a gun barrel. That's insane. That's insane. Once you kill it and you get the gun that can kill the past, you yeah. normally how the ending goes is you, you take it and then you blap yourself with it and it like takes you through the credits and it like yeah. reverts time back to, you know, before the run happened basically. Yeah. But if you have the bullet, it like transports you into uh like a special past of your characters and you have to like relive it. It's like they're made, like they're killing their past basically. Right. Right. They're like changing their past. Gotcha. The reason that they came to the gungeon. Yeah. Okay. But it's a lot to, it's It's... a lot to like build that up. And there's like a, another level that's like gun hell. Oh my God. That I haven't gotten to. And I'm probably am not going to get to. Yeah. No, it's hard, man. Bullet hells are a whole nother fucking thing, dude. Like, I mean that in that game and Gungeon, you gotta find sometimes you gotta find one pocket. Like the last boss fight. Yeah. Or you're fucked. It's literally the whole Hades. wall like the whole room will become bullets. Except yeah. for a circle that you have to like dodge roll into in order to not take damage. Fucked up. <laughs> and then and then another circle will appear and you'll have to dodge roll into that circle from your circle. Oh God. Stressful man. It, dude, I was like losing my mind fighting this thing oh i bet dude yeah hades is definitely the roguelike that has really captured it for me that's why i say man i, I think it's a 10 out of 10 it's game. a really really good game dude yeah what do you think you would rate it i would probably give it probably like a 9.5 gotcha gotcha it has pretty much everything that you want in a good roguelike yeah for sure it has like because i like like Binding of Isaac is like roguelike in the purest forms in the sense of the run ends, you just start another one. Yeah. Whereas uh, Hades is like the run ends. Now you can go spend the resources that you've gotten to get upgrades for yourself that make the yes. future runs more survivable. I survivable. Like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then you balance it out with the Pact of Punishment <laughs> when exactly, you start getting good. Exactly. 
So super fun, man. Definitely check it out if you love Greek mythology and if you haven't even fucked with roguelikes, this is probably one of the this best is a really good one to get into, yeah. For sure. Um, so definitely check it out, man. Check out Jedi Survivor if you're a Star Wars fan. So excited to keep playing. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we will keep you guys updated. Absolutely. Um, as for now. That's all we got for you today, guys. Yeah. We'll talk about some more games next week. Let us know what you've been playing. Yeah, for sure. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. Hit it. ding a ling All right, guys. Uh, that was today's episode. I am your host, Zach Osen. I'm your co-host, Andrew Hall. And this was the StoryWorks Podcast. We will see you next time. Sayonara. <laughs> He was waiting, dude. Mom said it's my turn on the Xbox.